Hi friends, I'm Prabhu Edwa and I would like to invite the rhythm lovers to the online masterclass which I'm going to present on the 10th of April. Metric and groove will be the theme of this masterclass. They are like the two sides of the same coin, intrinsically linked, yet they give two different characteristics of the same rhythmic phrase. One side, metric, is more rational. It is how you organize the time structure within which you can articulate a poetic verse or a melodic line or a bass line or percussive tones. And on the other side, you've got the groove, which cannot be quantized, which is not rational. It rather relates to the senses of your listener and specifically to the body of your listener. So during this masterclass, we'll try to explore the relationship between these two aspects within Indian rhythmic traditions and outside Indian rhythmic system. Let's take an example from Kathak dance. Kathak is a North Indian classical dance style where tabla is an important partner on stage and also for the repertoire. This is a piece of poetry on its own, but it is set to tintal, which is a 16 beats rhythmic cycle divided into 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and the tabla has got specific syllables that are played for highlighting this rhythmic framework which are 1 2 3 4 2 2 3 4 3 2 3 4 3 2 3 4 so if i superimpose the recitation of that composition on top of this rhythmic cycle played by the tabla I get Straightforward, it works, has to, they were made for each other, so the rhythmic cycle and the composition are both working well together. So now let's do some export business with this rhythm. Let's take this Indian stuff to Cuba. You know, and, and, and let's go there and see if they are going to buy that. So in Cuba, one of the popular music and dance style is salsa. Salsa has got a very rich and sophisticated rhythmic tradition and repertoire. And when players or dancers on stage improvise or perform, they are usually controlled by these two sticks. They are called Clave. Clave means key. Key, why? Because they are the key of the pattern which is given throughout the performance and that is followed by everyone altogether. That's with these claves that actually the band is coordinated. There are various patterns that are played, mainly four, two for clave son and two for clave rumba, but this is not a workshop on, on Cuban music. Let us just choose one of them which is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the point is, what about trying to set up that katak composition on top of this clave pattern, this rumba clave pattern? It's normally going to work because it's 4-4 on the other side and it is 4-4 on this side. But the arrangement of the patterns is different. So we get it works very well. This is even surprising, especially for the first part, which is the narrative part, you know, and the second part is known as Tihai on that kata composition. Tihai is, you know, playing three times the same phrase and that announces the end of a composition or improvisation. So we've got this is interesting, works well, the metric works well, but perhaps my purpose is to, you know, I'm getting a round of percussion and I need, when I finish, to give a clear sign, a clear signal that, hey guys, I'm done. And this sign should be conveyed to everyone, to the dance floor, but also to the piano player, the drum player, the bass, 
the brass section, uh, timbals, and the bongo, and the guitar. So how can I reshape a little bit this composition from India so that it matches a little more the groove and also the purpose of having something which is efficient in the end. So what if instead of targeting the first beat, I rather target the fourth beat. Why? Because one, two, three, four. The fourth beat is actually where falls the last stroke of my clave. So here is a suggestion. So we've got kirde da din da ka tit da tun ta da ka tit da tun ta da ka tit da tun ta da. That was the previous one, the original one. Let's try this one. Kirde da din da ka tit da tun ta da kran tun ta da kran tun ta da kran. You know, when we come before the first beat in Indian music, that's called uh, anagat tihai. So it's a tihai, but it targets a point which is before the first beat. So now, uh, with the rearrangement that I have done of that composition and resetting again that to the clave, we get this. So, this is, you know, one aspect of the various different ways we could explore together the concepts of metric and groove. Do come, we'll have fun. It's on 10th of April, 2.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Paris Zone. Uh, check the descriptions maybe above or below about registration, tickets and blah blah. Take care, stay safe and be groovy.